What's up guys, it's Josh from Keep It Tacky and today I wanted to do a quick video showing you guys how to set up a WordPress website. So as I stated in the intro of the video, I wanted to do a quick video just basically showing you guys how to set up a WordPress website on Ubuntu 20.04 server. And it's a very simple process. Uh, one of the prerequisites for this install is to actually have a LAMP stack set up. And if you guys don't know what LAMP is, it basically stands for Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP, or Marion Database, which you know you can use as well. It's open source as well. But it's pretty much the same thing as MySQL. Now you need this in order to set up the website because that that is basically a web server. You need a front end, uh, which is handled by Apache, and you need a back end, which is basically the database that runs on MySQL. And then PHP handles all the PHP files. So you need this properly configured. And I've done a video on walking people through how to actually set up a web server. Now I wanna kind of piggyback off of that video and show you guys how to set up a website using WordPress on Ubuntu 20.04 with the LAMP stack installed already now just to go down and make this video kind of short i'm gonna go down and hop right into the install so let's get started okay so like i stated uh you have to have a ubuntu server set up with lamp installed on it i'm actually ssh into a virtual machine that i created a little while back with uh ubuntu 20.04 server edition and everything is pre-configured as far as apache mysql and php everything is installed and good to go so all we have to do is basically install wordpress onto the server and so i'm ssh into the server like i stated now let's go on and start the process and the first thing we need to do is actually download wordpress and let me go down and switch over to the website screen so you guys can see it. But this is basically wordpress.org. Uh, and I already went to the download page and really all we have to do is right click on this uh, download tor.gz uh, copy link address. And like I stated, I'm SSH into the server. So let me switch back to the terminal and I'll just download it to my home directory, but this will download WordPress to the server. And this is a simple way of actually doing it. So it's best to SSH into your server. That way you can copy and paste links. And let's just type uh, wgit. And then let's just put the link and that'll download the tor.gz file. That's the latest version of WordPress. Okay, cool. So we got that. Now let's go down and move on to the next step, which is extracting our tor.gz file to the location that we want to put it. So let's go down and actually create the location because i haven't created the location let's uh go sudo uh make dir and then you always want to put your websites on the war www that's the default location and let's say we want to create a, a wordpress i'm gonna just name it wordpress or wp as the directory and press enter and that'll make that directory for us and then we'll change the permissions in a second but let's go down and extract our files there right now and let's type uh sudo uh tar dash uh z xvf and then we want to get that latest that latest uh dot tor dot gz and let's extract it to uh, we have to use the dash capital C option that'll extract it to that location. Uh, let's go war www and then that WordPress folder that we created and press enter and we should be good to go. It extracted everything onto that location. Now the next thing we need to do is actually create the database and what we need to do is log into MySQL. Uh, we could basically be running the MySQL command. So let's type sudo uh, MySQL. And then we want to use a user, which is root. So we have the root user there. And then dash P for password. That'll get it to access for our root password, which I already created one when I configured the MySQL server. Now we're logged into MySQL or MarianDB, which is pretty much the exact same thing. 
and let's create our database and a simple command so just type create database and then we can name it whatever we want to so i'm gonna just name it wordpress just to see keep it simple uh that's the database name that i want to name it you can obviously name it for whatever domain or whatever web server that you're actually creating that way if you have multiple websites on a server you don't get your databases confused uh, i'm only doing this for the test purposes so let's go down and press enter that'll create our database so good to go on that now the next thing we need to do is actually create a user account for that database and just basically give it all the permissions to that database uh, and we could just type create user and then let's just name it a uh, wordpress user or wp user and then let's do at local host and then identified which i always misspell this word but identified i believe that's right i d e n t i f i e d yes that's right so identified by and then this is where you put your password so i'm gonna just basically put uh this in quotes i'm gonna put wordpress or actually let's just do uh capital p uh a s s w o r d one two three and exclamation point just to make it simple and just make sure whatever you create this to uh you jot it down so you know where what it actually is so you don't forget it and what i'm gonna do is type it into a text file right fast that way when we get to the configuring of the wordpress site or creating the site or installing the site then we can um, copy and paste the password in there and then also you want to make sure you understand what the database is because you need to jot that down as well which i already know the database is wordpress so we get to go on that and then also you want to make sure you know what your user account is which is wp user that's what i named it so because that's the user account that the wordpress site will actually use to log into the database and make changes to the database now that I wrote all that down, let me go down and press enter so we can create that user account. And what I forgot to do was put the semicolon at the end, press enter. And that's why it was, you know, kind of hung up there. Now, let me go down and grant all the permissions because that'll be the next thing. Uh, let's just type grant and spell that wrong, but grant all privileges on the wordpress database and then dot store and that means all the tables within the database uh, that it'll have permissions to do anything on the server for that database and then you want to put the user account that we're talking about which is that wordpress user uh, at local host and then put your semicolon at the end and hopefully i spelled everything right let me read over it for a second again and we're good to go so that went it on and granted all those permissions for that user account for that database like i was saying and then the last thing we just need to flush the privileges so let's type that in right fast flush privileges and then semicolon at the end press enter good to go and then now we can just quit from the database we have configured uh mysql or marion database uh the way we need it for the wordpress site now the next thing we need to actually do is install WordPress. Now what we need to do is actually CD to the directory where uh, WordPress is stored. So let's go down and go there right fast. Let's go CD var uh, www. And then I named that folder WordPress. And then there is a WordPress directory underneath it. So let's go to, go to that location right fast. Now let's LS this directory uh, and I'm going to ls it like this so we can see the file that we want to copy. Because what I want to copy is the sample file. If it's there, uh, it should be there. Uh, but what I'm looking for is the WordPress config dash sample. And that file should be located there. Yeah. And this is what we want to do. We want to copy this file and remove sample from it. So, uh, and we'll leave the sample file there by copying. You know, we're not moving it. We're copying it. Uh, that's just to get it so we can go in and configure the server 
So let's go sudo uh, copy. And then what I always do is hit the, the uh, period forward slash. And that lets me know the file within that location. And then I also want to copy it to the same location. Uh, to the same location. So I always do that just so it knows to copy it and put it in the same exact location that I'm CD in. And what we do is just uh, type WordPress dash config and let it and tab it out. And I spelled that wrong, but config dot sample. And what I want to do is just take that sample off and press enter and that'll save that copy. Now let's go down and open that up and we have to use sudo because right now this stuff is owned by root. So let's go sudo uh, nano WordPress uh, dash config and I cannot type tonight uh, dot PHP and press enter. That'll open it up for us. And really all we have to do is modify a couple settings in here. It's basically the MySQL connections. Uh, and right here, this is the database name. So you want to put the database name here and it kind of explains it all to you. So this is why I was saying you need to write that down, whatever the database is. Uh, mine is WordPress. If you named it something else, just put whatever you had there. Uh, the user account, which is that WP uh, user. So WordPress user is what I named it. And then the next thing we want to do is put that password in there. Uh, which I'm gonna paste it in there. Let me go grab it right fast. That way I know I typed it correctly. Boom. Cool. And that's all we have to actually change or configure in this file. So let's press control X and Y for yes to save it and overwrite it. And we're good to go. Now we can go on and go through the install of WordPress. And the way you do that is by going to the web browser and then typing in the IP address and WordPress. And that'll take us to that directory and we'll go through the install process. So I'll be right back with the browser. up. Okay, so check this out right fast. So one thing I forgot to do, um, I forgot the default location for Apache. Well, it's, it's just my fault. I, I made a mistake right fast. Um, but I tried to create that folder, that WordPress folder, which I really didn't need to do it. Uh, I just needed the WordPress folder put under the HTML folder. So that's one thing I just did. So you can see that I just moved that full WordPress folder or directory to the HTML directory. That way the website will come up. And I just quickly did that. Just troubleshooting, just trying to figure out why it wasn't coming up. I said, well, uh, let me just go down and move it to the HTML folder once I saw it. Uh, that way I can get the WordPress installer to come up. Uh, I didn't want to go through and modify things in Apache in order to get it to work. Uh, I just wanted to go on and quickly get it up. But anyway, we are there now. Uh, so let me switch over to the website right fast. And as you can see, all I did was type in the IP address and then the WordPress directory. Uh, and that'll bring up the installer. So this is the walkthrough quickly of the installer. You basically type in the site title. So let me just type, keep it techie. And then also uh, you wanna create a user account. And what this is, this is the admin account. Now you can, like I'm gonna just create some, cause I'm gonna delete this website after this, but WordPress uh, admin. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna create that as the user account. And then let me go down and copy this password cause that's what I'm gonna go down and use. And one thing you wanna do is use a email account. So let's just type keep it techie dot, no, at gmail.com. And I don't think you really need to do that, but whatever. Uh, let's go on and install right fast. And then you can, you can do this right, uh, temporarily. I believe it's a way to change it. Uh, once you change this, but it's best to just leave it unchecked. If you don't understand what this is, it's basically search engine visibility. So you can discourage the search engines from indexing this website. Uh, now let's go down and hit install. Uh, and this is basically what it's, what it's going to do is go into the back end, create all the tables, uh, and everything for the website and modify things within the directory in order to get the website to, to finish. And then once this is done, I'll log into the back end so you guys can actually see it. Um, 
that way you can you know get a view of what wordpress looks like when it's first installed if you've never installed it and I, and all it is a content management system it's very simple to actually use and understand how to actually use it create things uh create blog posts you know all that stuff can be done you know from the back end and now i'll also show you the front end as well um i won't go too deep because i want like i said i wanted to make this video kind of short uh but let's wait for this thing to finish i'll be back when it actually finishes all right cool so this is the actual website you know what i'm saying or right, this is basically saying that it's actually done and chrome is trying to save my password but uh let's go down and go to this website so you guys can actually see the back end of the website um now let's just type uh wp admin and then we can paste in that password that we auto generated boom press login and that will take us to the back end of the website and this is a way to actually develop a website and then you can move it all over once you actually uh complete building it complete the build all you have to do is copy over all the files let's say you have some hosting that you're paying for you can copy all the files over copy over the database and then the website should work from that point on um and it's ways to actually back up the database. Uh, like if you have a lot of data on the site, it's ways to actually uh, sync it over to another WordPress server or another hosting site. Uh, you can check those out, just search or whatever. It's a lot of information out there on WordPress because there's a lot of people that actually do use WordPress. But this is the back end. You know, you have all your options here. I won't go through them like I said. And then this is the main site. So if we go to it right fast, you know, that's our WordPress site. And all you have to do is go through and start modifying this thing and getting it set up and you're good to go. So if you have any questions, leave comments down in the comment boxes below. I know I kind of confuse you guys with the file directory within the server that I kind of messed up, but uh, if you have any questions, leave comments down below you, but you can quickly set up a WordPress site, you know, in a matter of minutes, all you have to do is follow this process. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you, and I'll keep coming with this Linux content. And of course, keep it techie.